Do you believe in heaven as a place to go to after we die? Explain. Yes, I do believe in heaven because um, I go to church and I'm Catholic. Yeah, I believe in heaven as a place to go after we die. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, because, I don't know, it's just like what I believe in. For some people. Only good people. I think it's a really nice, comforting idea. I don't know. I don't know. I can't say, but if it does exist, that would be really wonderful. I do believe that heaven is the place where we go to after we die because, I don't know, Jesus like died for our sins and so like he will forgive us and we will go to heaven. I just think it's where we're going to die. Heaven, I think, is it's where you're going to rest for life and that's why I think it's important. For as long as humans have existed, they have always wondered about the big question, what happens to us when we die? Every culture and religion has its own traditions and stories to explain our final destination. As Christians, it is our belief that we will be reunited with God in His kingdom of heaven. But what heaven is and what it looks like, no one can say for sure. It is our faith that gives us hope. What is your hope for heaven? That's what we'll be talking about today. Hi everyone, I'm Matt. And I'm Kira. And, and this, this is, is Real Faith, faith TV. TV. Most of the teens on the street believed in heaven as a place we go to when we die. We'll talk with them more a little later in the show, as well as meet our studio guests. But first, let's meet our spotlight guest, Matt Greeley. Matt is the Director of Youth and Young Adult Ministries for the Diocese of Trenton. He'll share with us his thoughts on death and eternal life in heaven. Let's take a look. Whether it's on a conscious or a subconscious level, I think death is something that we, that we all think about. I remember back being a child and seeing death as something that was just scary and that was very far away and only old people seemed to die. That, I think, gave me a sense of invulnerability. As a young man, death started becoming something where I now started, I knew people who had died. It became more of a reality in my own life. I needed to start really working on that for myself, trying to come up with my own definition or feelings about death and what would happen after life. One of the beautiful things about being Catholic, um, as Catholics, we don't believe in an afterlife. It, we believe in eternal life. So this idea that uh, life doesn't end, life changes. To get to that kind of belief in my own heart, but to really believe that, known that, it's been a journey. Death is something that it's hard to grasp, it's hard to know, to fully understand, and we won't understand it until we go through it. When I was 20, my, my father died. And, you know, I think about my dad all the time, every day. I truly believe my dad is still very much with, with me, with my family. And now even on the flip side, being a father, we have a one and a half year old little boy, Emmett, just knowing the sacredness the, that is every moment that I get to, to experience with Emmett and with my wife. Not that it makes me think about death, but it just helps me to recognize the blessing that every moment is. When we die, we enter into the full, complete love of God. We are embraced and all of the doubts and fears and questions that we experience as humans in this world, in this beautiful creation, they're gone. We enter into this clarity. What a gift that our God loves us this much that we're going to just enter into this eternal life of love. I really like what Matt said about um, eternal life, not afterlife, eternal life, because it's really reassuring to know that when you die, you will continue on with God and in God's hands, and that's just exciting to look forward to. Exactly. So let's see what the studio guests have to say on this topic. Okay, they are Vince, Catherine, Mary, Julianne, Kalechi, Phil, and Allison. So do you guys think about death and does this idea of heaven help you, like, offer you comfort? Yeah, um, I think about death actually more often now as a teenager. I've interacted with people that pass away. It's really sad because they're gone, but they're not gone. They're in eternal life, which is like, they're with God, you know, and Jesus. They're like, I guess like at a big party somewhere, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the opposite actually was with me. I used to think about death a lot more when I was younger. And as I grew up, I kind of like pushed that to the side and started living in the moment. And if someone asked me like, what do you think is gonna happen when I'm gonna die? I'm gonna be like, well, 
there's heaven, it's going to be epic awesome, and I'm going to live it up with God. I think about that every once in a while, and when I think about heaven, I get so happy because like, there's a place, like a perfect place you can stay with God. That's like the best thing in the world. I think um, heaven definitely comforts me about death because I know that um, when I die, that it's going to be in a better place with God. And I definitely think that I, I, I think about death a little more often than I'd like to. I haven't actually experienced it as, oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't experienced it in relation to like a family member. I, have, I haven't had death recently in my family for about 10 years. And the thing is that um, I don't feel the sting of it like my mother or my grandmother do when my great-grandmother passed. But when I think about heaven and I think about how my great-grandmother is there in communion with God, it's, it's so comforting to me. But, uh, you know, personally for me, I, I think I'm a little bit morbid when I think about it because it's, it's a little bit scary to think eternity. I mean, yes, it's heaven. It's a great place. But eternity, away from, you know, the 70, 80 years that you know on earth. So it's a little sc scary thought for me. And like most of you guys, I think death is a scary thought. But then just thinking about that there is going to be a heaven. We're going to be there with God forever. I think that just kind of like eases it up, and it's just not a, as a scary thought as it may seem. Definitely. Death is never something we like to think about. Grieving the loss of a loved one can be very long and a painful experience. And in contemplating our own death, for many of us, it's just plain morbid. But it is the promise of heaven that gives us the strength to believe that we will all be reunited in God's love. And how can we make sense of this divine love? We asked the teens on the street to describe what they imagine heaven to be like and where their ideas come from. Let's take a look. Image of heaven, anything peaceful, basically. Well, I do look at heaven as if it was the sky, you know, definitely Jesus is gonna be there. It's a place where everybody just feels happy. The image for heaven is like a happy place. I think of it as God and clouds and blue. Everything's perfect. I see my grandpa being there because he was really religious and he died from a heart attack. So I see it as like, I don't know, just in the clouds, like just paradise or something. The images that they give us is, you know, like light and clouds. Nobody really knows what heaven is. I would say it would be like liberation from suffering, a place of peace and, and unity. But I definitely know it has to be something peaceful, a place that's for us to rest. Ideas from heaven come from church. I think it, it comes from church. I think it does come from church. Definitely from the church because I go when I can, like on Sundays. The idea of heaven to me definitely comes from family. Probably movies and church combination of everything is like what you think heaven would be. For many people, thinking about where we'll spend eternity is an exercise for the imagination. People think heaven might be like a reunion with all their friends and relatives who died before them. Some people hope that all their questions will be answered and all their dreams will be fulfilled. Some hope it's an outrageously lavish party that lasts forever. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, it would. So what are some of the images and metaphors that you envision when thinking about heaven? Well, I think it's going to be like a big party where, like, where all of our questions are answered, but you also get to like see and chill with like all the people who passed before you. Like I'd like to see my grandfathers and relatives and neighbors that were close to me that passed away when I didn't get to know them as well as I would have liked to. 